The key will be in the king's crypts. They aren't very far from here, but the journey will most likely be dangerous, and we don't know what you'll be dealing with once you enter the crypts. If I were you, I would talk to the smith before leaving. I'm sure he could set you up with some tools and armor that'll help you along your journey. You're our last hope, John. I wish you a great deal of luck. Return to us quickly. We'll be waiting. I don't know, Alfred. Seems like we've got ourselves mixed up in a whole heap of trouble down here. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I do want to help these people, it's just... The things they want me to do... I, storm a crypt, get a key... Then again, I guess we don't really have any other choice. If we don't stop this volcano from going... We're pretty much out of the game, too. Alright, well, let's see what we're going to bring with us. Might as well... Mm, we'll leave the map behind, but torches may be useful. And you know what? We have a lot of... We have a lot of Barrett ammo. Maybe we can get the Smith to make us some ammo for the for the R seven hundred. That'd be pretty useful. We'll bring the Desert Eagle too. If he can, if he can, we'll even bring him some some building materials. Butter him up nice and nice and buttery, I suppose. Uh, hi, Doc. Oh, John, off to save the world. Yep. We're, we're off to save the day. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, sir. Alright, talk to the smith, she said. Talk to the smith. I saw him over here. At least I think that's the smith. He's in a he's in a smitty. Looks like a smitty. Smells like a smitty, probably, too. <laughs> Hi there, sir. Uh, my name is John. I know who you are, lad. I saw them bring you in the other day. You're that small-headed fellow they caught out in the trap there, right? Eh? Small-headed? Who are you calling small-headed? <laughs> you lad, look at that head. I had head be tinier than a bird head. No, actually, I've, I have seen birds with bigger heads than yours. Ever think that maybe you just have a, a big head? Mine's normal? <laughs> no, I have a big head. You gotta be kidding me. My head is huge. Uh-huh. I've got the biggest head of anyone in the village. Just ask anybody. My head is so big, it's hard for me to stand upright. Okay. One time, I got my head stuck in the door of the tavern. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, I I need I need I need uh, armor and weapons and stuff. I've heard of your quest from the missus. Yep, she told me what you need. I can make it for you too, nah, for a price. What? You're gonna charge me? <laughs> That's why they call it a business. It's not a charity. Do I look like I'm gonna go around giving out free swords? Resources are scarce. Speaking of which, I have some resources that I can- I don't want your stick and stubborn iron. I got the purest iron in these mountains right here in this place. Alright, well I also have these 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 uh, these guns that I, I need ammo for. I don't know much about guns, lad. But I can build you the greatest sword you ever seen. For, uh, eight pieces of eight. I'm sorry, eight pieces of what now? I I don't have any money. Nah, I didn't think you would. So where does this leave us? You know the old clock tower in town? Not really, I've only been here a day and I was unconscious for most of it. Well, there's an old clock here in town and the old clock keep owes me some money for some work I did on some cogs. Alright, you want me to go collect? Well, sorta. The old fart died last week. Now how am I supposed to get my money? I, why are you telling me about this? Look, he's got a strong box up at the top of that tower. I want you to go up there, and get the pieces of eight, and bring them back to me. Then I'll make you a sword. Well, alright then. I guess I'll go ahead and just... Oh, no, he's... He, was, he wasn't kidding, he does have... Pretty much everything that he needs. Well then, I guess I will go ahead and hang on to the 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 uh, the, the iron and the the diamonds. And I'm guessing that's the clock tower right there. All right. Well, this might be pretty easy. Getting to the it doesn't look that big from here. Well, I'm sure it's one of those probably a forced perspective situation where when we get closer, it's gonna look a lot bigger. All right. Well. Getting to the top shouldn't be much of a challenge. Good grief. I thought he said the... 
the clock tower guy died like what, a week ago? Maybe a month. I don't understand how it could get this bad so quickly. Oh well. None of our concern. Just gotta get to the top. That's all we're here for. Get to the top, get the, the pieces of eight, and get out. Oh! <sighs> parkour has never been something I've excelled at, not even in college, and I was on the parkour team. We made it to a state championship, though. If it wasn't for Becky, we probably would have won. Ah! There we go. Ah! Fantastic, that was easy. Eight pieces of eight, right there. Wonderful. Undemas. It's German. I took German. Now, German was one class thing that we did succeed in. Got state in German. There we go. Hop. Hop. Alright, so this might very well be the easiest quest I've ever been on. Like, hands down, if I can just remember how I got up here. Wonder if I can just scale the side of the building on oh, the vines. Hold on. Oh, 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 moving a little bit fast. Oh, okay. That wasn't too hard. All right, let's get this stuff back to the Smith, Smith Gregor. And I'm kind of getting a little bit hungry, so we might have to go find some food after this. But well, I'm sure Mrs. could probably give us some. All right, Mr. Gregor. Ah, oh, good to see you again, lad. How did that go for you? Pretty well, actually. Uh, here's your eight pieces of eight, as requested. Fantastic work! I'll get started on your sword right away. Say, could you go get me a pint of ale? I'm sorry, a what? A pint of ale! You don't expect me to work on a dry stomach now, do you? Uh, you do realize that the entire village, the entire northern hemisphere, is at risk of being blown up right now, don't you? Listen, you can't rush out. You might as well make yourself busy. Just head on over there and talk to the barkeep. All right, fine. That shouldn't be too hard. Just got to find a a tavern-esque joint around here. And I think I saw one across from the clock tower. Although, wow. I wonder what this used to be. This definitely looks like a kitchen area back here. Huh. Whatever it is, it's gone now. I guess it doesn't really matter. The place without a name. What do you know? That's... Oh my gosh! Oh, good grief. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh! Golly! This is not a safe city. Alright, Mr. Barkeep. Who are you? Oliver Barkeep. Hmm. You know, that's a, an interesting last name you have there, Barkeep. Is that, is that really your, your last name? Of course. What else would I be called? You know, the Smith is called Smith Gregor. Is Smith... It's his first name. What else would it be? I'd, um... Hmm. Anyway, uh, Smith Gregor wanted me to pick up a pint of ale. Oh, all right, I'll get the milk out. I'm sorry, milk? No, he wanted he wanted ale. Oh, we haven't had ale here for well over 300 years. The last the hops plants burned down mm, before I was ever born. But don't tell the smith that. He still thinks the milk is ale. He confuses milk with an alcoholic beverage? Well, he's never really had alcohol, so it's pretty easy to fool him. Interesting. All right, well, we've got the milk. I think we're pretty close to having a sword. Very droll weather around here. Very droll. Very dull is what I actually meant to say. I don't know, Alfred. I think the cold's messing with my voice. I can't seem to speak right ever since we got here. Alright. Alrighty, Mr. Mr. Smith. I've got your ale here. Oh, fantastic, lad. I can't wait to guzzle this one down. Yeah, here. I'm just starting work on your armor, and I already finished the sword. Now, as useful as that thing will be, might I make you a suggestion? Yeah, sure. Why don't you take that over there to our, uh, well, uh, enchantress, I guess we'll call her, and see if she can't put a little something special on that to help you with the dead things you'll be fighting. Dead things? <laughs> what else did you think would be guarding a crypt? You know, I'd always wanted to go down there and fight him off myself, but if it... Well, you know, my head is a little too big. <laughs> I'm not seeing how an oversized head is... 
Okay. Uh, th thanks for your help. I'll come back for the rest of the armor. Alrighty. Best of luck on your quest there, lad. Thanks. I have a feeling all of a sudden I'll need all the luck I can get.